Now, may I make clear a distinction between your nervous system and any computing machine which is yet in existence? Uh, there are some beginning to approximate it. They are to be found chiefly in bombers and things of this sort. Now, <coughs> an ordinary machine, <coughs> operations are carried out sequentially. And a mistake entails mistakes which follow inevitably from it all the way through the computation. As opposed to this, there are parallel machines. That is, machines which carry on the same computation in one, two, three, or more channels compare the results, and don't go ahead until the results agree. These are strictly parallel. I'm not talking about either of these kinds of machines. I'm talking about machines which resemble, let's say, the mouth of the Danube, or the mouth of the Nile, or better yet, the mouth of the Swanee River. These are what the Greeks called anastomotic affairs. That is, the water from each contributory stream is mixed with the water from every other contributory stream before they finally get out the mouths of the river. Is that clear? There is no other word that I know for it except the old Greek word anastomotic. They're not merely braided together where the braids follow through. No, no. They're braided with an intermixture so that the information coming out at any one point in the mouth is combined from the information coming in from all of the sources of that river. Is this clear? Good. What is more, well, any man my age knows this very well. Neurons die at the order of thousands of neurons per day. We're built to run well to the 16th year of age, roughly. From that time on, you begin to be able to count the holes where there were cells and there are no more. So, you have to design it so that a cell, while it's a-dying, and while it's a-dying, it's apt to go pip, 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 brrr, and then quit. And uh, after it's dead, it's not going to make too much difference. You would probably find at least 10% of the big cells in my cerebellum, where you could count them, are just holes filled up with glia, new cells supporting cell. So, this kind of thing happens all the time and must happen. And yet we can go on to, well, in my family, to a hundred. 